how challenging was it calling plays with all the noise on Monday? Uh, it was a little challenging. Uh, maybe like the first couple drives, the crowd was going crazy. Uh, so I know it was hard for the guys to hear me. So we just started to go to hand signals and all that so we can get good communication. But I thought the communication during the whole game was it was good for how loud it was. Yeah, I had to put my hands over my ears a couple of times during the game, but uh, it got through for sure. Turn the walkie-talkie all the way up. What's different about the run fits now as you got your inside linebacker now that your guys are at three four? Um, I guess for that game, you know, they wanted to run it to the perimeter a lot more. Uh, we got a lot of big bodies inside, you know, with a tight front. You got two, three techniques. And then a big nose guard with uh, Al Wood, so can't run the ball inside. There's no gaps to open up. And so, you know, a lot of perimeter runs with this front. How new is that for you compared to your first couple of years in this defense when you were outside? Um, just where I'm aligned. I mean, more, more so me being in the middle in that A gap behind Al. Uh, as before, we ran a tight front. We used to call it a stick front here. Well, I would be the outside, so I would be more in that C gap where it would be the tackle and the, um, the tight end. What is it about this defense that goes back to last year and even before that in the red zone that you guys, you know, even in a game where maybe teams get some yards and losing the ball, you guys seem to be strong there? You said what's different about this? What, like, what about you guys do you think makes you good in the red zone? Uh, just the mentality, you know, and obviously, you know, just the willpower, you know, guys not wanting to give up, guys not wanting the other team to score, and so, uh, they got down there a couple of times, but you know, once you get down there, it's like you got to buck your chin strap and, and and fight for every inch of, uh, inch of grass that we got down there. Not a lot of teams use fullbacks in today's NFL, or at least extensively. The 49ers have one of the best in the business, though. And if George Kittle's healthy, they have a lot of flexibility. How does that impact or challenge you as a linebacker trying to prepare for their run game with all the different things they can do? I think it gives you some great tendencies on what they want to do because. Uh, you know, they feature those guys a lot. And those are the guys that they want to feature in that offense. And so a lot of the runs and play action passes and things they want to do is, you know, based off those guys. There's a lot of what they do in the run game, just a lot of window dressing with the pre-snap stuff. Are they running the same stuff as most everyone else, just with a ton of motions beforehand? Yeah, they do a lot of motions, a lot of eye candy. They do a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, fullback motion and short motion, a lot of stuff, you know. But a lot of it is the same stuff week in, week out. What's the challenge of Trey Lance having a guy who can run it the way he can? Uh, challenge is, you know, just keeping him in the pocket, you know, not letting him get extra yardage once he gets out. You know, if his first reads aren't there, you know, he likes to get out and run, and that's where he can uh, he can hurt a lot of defenses. So our rush has got to be great in containing them, you know, and if they can't, we got to be good at coming up and rallying and tackling. What did you think of the play Cody made on the screen pass at the end of the game? I thought it was great. Um, we actually was supposed to call a blitz there. And I think we would have called that blitz. We'll be in misery right now. <laughs> they had a lot of yards to go. And so luckily I didn't hear it. And we got another call called. Cody made a great play. Saved that for us. You said the initial call was a blitz, but you couldn't hear it. So they had to change the play call. Is that what happened? Uh, I, I didn't hear the call, so I just had to call a call, call the call, and we got it where we needed right there. Oh, is that just because of the noise and stuff? Yeah, the crowd was going crazy. I think, I don't know what down it was, but it was late in the game, about two minutes to go, and so the crowd was going crazy, didn't hear the call, so we just had to get lined up and go. Have you uh, given any advice or have they asked the rookies um, you know, about just playing early, what that's like when you played early in your rookie year, Tariq or Kobe or Way asked you about any of that stuff? Yeah, Tariq for sure. Uh, just telling him to keep doing what he's doing. I thought he had he's been having a great start of his career, you know, since the day he walked in here. Um, I thought he handled the pressure, the noise, you know, better than any rookie. <laughs> and so I thought he's been doing a great job, just, you know, wishing the best for him. The sky's the limit for him. We heard an impression to him with this combination of length and size and speed, too. Yeah, just a freak. They call him Reek the Freak. <laughs> he's just, he's got all the athletic ability that you can dream of. Uh, he really doesn't have any weaknesses. Um, and so all he can do is 
keep getting better. So I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, what he does. How does Jamal's absence change what you guys might want to do defensively? I think we're going to do what we do. But I, I definitely, you know, his presence, uh, not being here, you know, it, it hurts, you know, not having a guy like that in the locker room on the field with you. Um, and so, you know, guys got to step up. I think that, you know, Josh and Ryan Neal, you know, they're, they're great guys to step up. They went in there and did the job in the game. And so, next man mentality. What have you, what have you learned about Ryan um, since he's been your teammate for the last few years? He's a great teammate. You know, he's, uh, you never hear Ryan complaining about anything. He's always ready when his number is called. And um, he's always there for us to make plays. And so I love Ryan as a teammate, as a man. Um, and I'm excited for him to get his opportunity this week. Is it just a, like you were a first round pick? Is there a, maybe more appreciation for the guys who are like, who grinded like the undrafted, Kuna, the Ryans, guys who kind of stuck around despite not being high picks? Yeah, uh, it's always, you know, going to be a little bit more appreciation for them because they come in with low expectations. Nobody really expecting anything of them. Um, they come in with, you know, a little bit of less grace. And so, you know, for those guys to still be sticking around and being playmakers for the Seahawks is, is pretty great. Jordan, you were talking about how Denver did a lot of perimeter runs against you guys. What are the keys? If teams aren't going to run up inside, what are the keys for you guys to keep those perimeter runs from getting out? You just got to set edges, you know, be great on the edges. Um, you know, and, and linebackers, we got to keep getting over top. Uh, safeties filling the alleys. And um, everybody rallying and tackling. Is there something, is there something unique about how Javante Williams runs that makes him so good at breaking tackles? Yeah, he's just a he's a like a little bowling ball, man. He's a he's a stocky, strong guy. Uh, so you got to be ready to, to wrap up and drive when you tackle that guy. He's a he's a great running back. How was your voice on uh, Tuesday morning? <laughs> it was it was a little rusty, man. I didn't. I, that was probably the most yelling I did in a long time, and so. I got my voice back today, so that's a good thing. How unique of an offensive weapon is Debo? Say that again. How unique of an offensive weapon is Debo? Uh, he's just an athlete. He's a great athlete. You know, they could, he can play any position. You know, uh, I respect him as a as a player. Um, it, it's fun to play against guys like that. You know, they do a lot of different things with him, and so I'm ready for the matchup. Thank you all. Thank you.